pure joy. Yeah. Really thrilled with it. Uh, really optimistic about it. Feeling very hopeful. I am very happy because uh, uh, until the time the film is put out in for public viewing where people are given a choice that they want to see it or not and they hopefully do come and see it and um, and what they feel about it only then your work is complete mm -hmm. I would like to say that uh, I'm glad that this film is releasing now and not earlier otherwise you would all been in trouble and <laughs> there are many reasons for that uh, uh, but uh, the main reason being that uh, today the audience has changed in the last five six years and they are more accepting of new stories and biopics are the favor of the film filmmaking and film viewing world today people are curious about uh, larger than life personalities and how they became that and what what inspired them and how it can inspire the audience to be better people so i think it's a great time for us uh, to be releasing the film it feels like a pure celebration you know we've just had diwali and uh, just like that has brought in the new year i feel the film is entering a new life, a new phase, a new time of glory and appreciation. It feels like a celebration of colors and lights and love. I'm very excited. So I'm Devtaun. Photo shoots and all for films, I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. Because well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the challenges that I faced. First of all, the f biggest challenge I'm facing now is that nobody's creating a controversy about me being topless. Why is that the case? <laughs> you know, why only Nandana? I'm feeling jealous now. <laughs> but the, the, the challenges that one faced was the biggest challenge was that I did not know about the man. When I did not know about the man, I read the script, I liked it, I went to Ketan, I said, it's a wonderful script, but who is he? So then he told me, he opened up the book and he said, you know, he showed me all these paintings, some of which I'd seen in calendars and there were some then they came to the painting of Lakshmi and Saraswati, which is in my house. I've been praying to it since a child in on Diwali and thing. Mm. So that's what, when it hit me, the magnitude of the character and the film that Ketan was trying to make. And then when we did research about him, we, I mean, I was thrilled to find out that he was the first rock star of this country. <laughs> he still is the biggest rock star, if you know about him, because that man had so much fan mail that the government had to make a separate post office for him <laughs> to receive to receive mail. I mean, he was not with his brother. He was that big a superstar at that time. Your Honor, this man is giving such a bad way to increase the Sanskrit language that the God of Sanskrit is only money. Look, my belief is that if the film has been made with heart, has been made with good, and has been made with commitment, and has been made with people, then the audience is in this country in this country. मेरे हिसाब से इस फिल्म को सिर्फ स्टार कास्ट की वजह से नहीं देखना चाहिए इस फिल्म को उसकी कहानी के के लिए देखना चाहिए इस फिल्म को इसलिए देखना चाहिए कि इट समवेयर ट्राइज टू कनेक्ट विद द सोल ऑफ इंडिया बेसिकली इस फिल्म को इसलिए देखना चाहिए कि क्योंकि इसमें कहानी है और जो कहानी है इसमें द थीम्स दैट द फिल्म दिस द फिल्म पोर्ट्रेज सच एस द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फ्रीडम ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन सच एस द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ रिलिजियस टॉलरेंस द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ वेलनरेबल वेमेन आर इन इंडियन सोसाइटी ऑल ऑफ दोस थीम्स आर एज रेलिवेंट टुडे एज दे वर वेन द फिल्म वॉज मेड एंड एज दे वर हंड्रेड एंड टेन ईयर्स अगो विच इज वेन द फिल्म इज सेट सो इट इज द परफेक्ट टाइम फॉर द फिल्म इज द लव स्टोरी a passionate love story a very colorful love story a very eventful love story between uh, Raja Ravi Verma and one of his muses because of which uh, the whole hell broke loose on his life on his life and that muse being uh, uh, the face of Lakshmi and Saraswati sitting right next to us uh, her name is Sugandha in the movie and uh, she will hamare desh mein bhi kahaniyon ka khazana hai ramayan mahabharat main in kahaniyon ko duniya ko dikhana chahta hu main inki paintings banana chahta hu maharaj to banao कोई ये न कहे कि हम हिंदुस्तानी कला को नहीं जानते। Yes, of course. It's a, it was a wonderful character for me to play. She is um, at the same time extremely fearless, um, but also very fragile. And this combination of strength and softness is what makes Sugandha such a complex and beautiful character to play. Sugandha's character, the journey that she has in the film, um, has so many resonances. 
with the stories of the archetypal Indian heroines that she portrayed for Raja Ravi Verma, whether it's the story of Draupadi, whether it's the story of Sita or Shakuntala. I had to go back to Raja Ravi Verma's paintings to create, uh, to invent the body language of Sugandha, the way she would walk with her anklets on or her uh, the chain around her waist, uh, the way she would peep through her eyelashes. As um, Randeep said, so much of the way women learned to carry themselves uh, in India had to do with his paintings. And going back to that, to reinvent uh, that body language for me, which is very different from my body language as Nandana, was a really beautiful part of the experience as well. Controversies are a result of your actions. It is not a, a preconceived position. Uh, I believe that if you are trying to do anything different, there would be different opinions to, towards it. If you try and do the same things again and again, for me, it's a boring life. So, uh, I like to challenge myself. I like to create challenges which others can participate in and make their own. Uh, and that is what life is all about. And I'd like to add to that that it's also about how, what is it that is meriting, that is demanding the controversy. In this case, this particular story uh, focuses on how this painter's journey revealed the, um, the ways in which women are vulnerable in society. And in order to understand that, you need to see her story in all of its fullness. And if the cost that you pay for that is controversy, that's a cost that you're paying for being true to your art, for being really honest in the story that you're telling, for not trying to hide anything and telling the whole story in its most human way. <laughs> yes, I did uh, uh, practice with a guy from Nitin this is uh, uh, art uh, uh, direction department. His name was Sanjay and he used to come to my house and he used to paint. I used to sketch a bit in school but uh, that was not sufficient. I could never mix colors. So he taught me a bit of that and every artist has got a signature brush stroke. So we discussed how uh, Raja Ravi Verma's brush stroke would be and what part of the anatomy he's painting and how do you stroke that part of the anatomy. So we had to uh, practice all of that uh, all over again. Uh, <coughs> And I did not want to come across uh, like a like a goon with a brush when I was painting, so that was very important. And paint, being uh, it is about a painter at the end of the day, yeah. and that was very important for you to uh, for me to learn that and keep an eye on it. Initially, the censor board was hesitant to give it a censor certificate when the screening committee saw it, hmm. but when we took it to the revising committee, and it was seen by a panel of eminent people uh, in Delhi, in the, revise, uh, the revising committee, they actually applauded the film and passed it without a cut. It's actually the first film that was passed by the censorship. Oh.